Hey YouTuber, Zuski Films here. I've uh, been reading a lot of stuff online about folks uh, feeling a lot of vibration through their handlebars on a BMW R1200 GS and GS Adventure. I work for a company that produces vibration controllers for vibration testing and we also make a portable DAQ device that measures uh, vibration out in the field so they can bring it back into the lab and, and use that data to develop a vibration test. So I've decided to borrow one of these devices. This is the Observer 1000. This is a 16 channel uh, portable DAQ slash analyzer. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna connect two accelerometers, uh, one to each end of the handlebars, one on the right side and one on the left side. These accelerometers are gonna be triaxle types, meaning that they're measuring vibration on or in all three axes. I'm not sure if that's the right word for it, but uh, basically in the X, Y, and Z axis, um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use six channels uh, from this device, uh, three on each end. So here we have our first uh, Tri-X accelerometer connected to the right side uh, of the bike on the extreme edge of the handlebar. And I use super glue to uh, connect this sensor. Now this sensor is uh, manufactured by Dytran, a company out of California. And this, as I mentioned before, was a Tri-X. So you can see we have X, Y, and Z. So the uh, z-axis will be doing the vertical axis or the top uh, up and down uh, vibration. The x-axis will be the front to back vibration and then the y will be the side to side vibration. Okay, here on the left side of the bike, the left handlebar, we have the second accelerometer. We have the same thing, the z and the vertical axis, the y for the side to side and then the x is the front to back.